Hi guys, welcome to my channel. How are you feeling today? I hope you are very fine and you are ready to join my exploration and art in Nice. So today you are invited to the Jules Cherel Museum of Fine Arts and while I'm going there I'll tell you a little about its history. Uh, this museum is located in 19th century building which was um, constructed for a Ukrainian princess uh, Elizaveta Kochubey. She was a patron and composer and uh, interesting fact about her family uh, that she was her husband's third cousin. What those strange times, yeah? Uh, so when uh, the Kochubey's family decided to move to Nice, and I would say it was a good choice, uh, Elizaveta bought the land and uh, started um, a construction. But after five years uh, slow cons construction, she decided to sell it to a rich American um, industrialist, James Thompson. So, in fact, he completed this uh, building. And um, after his death, uh, this beautiful building was uh, purchased by the Nice city and uh, housed uh, there a museum of uh, fine arts. So this museum was, uh, has been opened for visitors uh, almost 100 years ago. An entrance ticket costs uh, 10 euros and uh, it works um, every day except Monday from 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. In summer uh, it works from um, 10 a.m. In uh, this video you will see um, works strange and uh, but very impressive by uh, Gustav Adolf Mossin and even you will see um, a masterpiece of Pablo Picasso so don't switch if you have never heard about Gustav Adolf Mossin raise your hand yeah so today we will meet him we We'll see his paintings a little bit later. And now I want to tell you some facts about this artist. Uh, so he is a French artist who lived all his life uh, in Nice. And after his father's death, uh, he became a curator of uh, this museum, Museum of Fine Arts. And uh, for his contemporaries, he was an artist who drew uh, landscapes, who illustrated books and uh, made posters. But um, those works that were founded after his death stunned everyone. These were his early paintings, which he hidden from everyone. And uh, these paintings are in symbolism style. And uh, his greatest fear at that time was women. 
uh, they are dangerous, bloodthirsty, the killers in his paintings. And, and uh, he often chose uh, biblical and uh, mythological images to portray women. And uh, this was um, this was uh, ten years period in his life. After the First uh, World War, uh, he stopped it. Yeah, and uh, his uh, paintings just landscapes, illustrations, posters, and so on. Uh, one interesting fact about his uh, private life. Uh, he was married three times and uh, the last one was uh, when he was uh, 73 years old and uh, his wife name was uh, Marie Marcella but he renamed her as uh, Violet strange person Much has been changed in the interior of this building to turn it into a museum, but this staircase is original. And we are greeted by Jean Coulon's Heavenly Hebe marble sculpture. I'm sure you recognized this sculpture. This is The Kiss by Auguste Rodin. But I have to tell, tell you that there are a lot of copies of this sculpture all around the world and this one as well. This copy is made from gypsum. But anyway, it's amazing. Now I invite you to take a look at a psychotherapeutic session by Gustav Adolf Musa because I can't name his paintings otherwise. So let's go! On this picture there is a woman with an innocent childlike look but she killed a lot of people. I think they are all men. Mm, I suppose Musa must have been afraid of uh, women. And uh, on her nimbus it's written, I want it, let it be so, and the reason will be my wish. This is how unhappy Pierrot looks in Mossa's world, unhappily in love and suicide. Women's love in the picture Sappho.
Actually, I have no idea why this picture is named as a spider. So, if you know, please leave your comment below this video. And unexpectedly, I found a plate painted by Pablo Picasso. A very nice find, I think. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour, this visit. And uh, I have to, to tell you that in my next video we will see closer, we will watch closer on um, Jules Charest works. We will see works of Raoul Dufy, uh, Maria Bashkirtseva and uh, another interesting show pieces. So guys, don't miss my next video, subscribe and see you very very soon let's explore the art together bye